Oh, I love that intro music to Phoenix the Arcade Game. Lots of great memories of this game when it when it came out originally. I didn't I didn't play Phoenix until I actually saw it at a laundromat. Now my brother, while he was going to college at ISU in Indiana, uh, on the weekends he used to hang out with him, and we would go down to the laundromat and just kind of sit around and and talk and stuff like that. And uh, this laundromat also had some arcade games in it, and one of the games that we used to like to play was, of course, Phoenix. It was a very, very challenging game. A lot of fun. I, what we really liked about it was all the various uh, levels of baddies you can battle. You know, my favorite part of the game was shooting the big birds. As they're flying down the screen, you shoot their wings off, hit them just right to make a really cool explosion. That was probably my favorite part of Phoenix. Uh, also like how you had the double shots in that one screen as well. Of course, the final boss battle was always a pain. Uh, I very rarely would beat the boss, but I still enjoyed playing the game. My brother used to wipe the floor with me on this game, too. He was pretty good at it. But then, not too long after that, uh, it came out on the old Atari 2600. Now, I remember seeing this on the shelf at Toys R Us. Well, not Toys R Us. It wasn't Toys R Us. It was Children's Palace or something like that. I think it was Children's Palace. I can't remember. But I do remember there was a store that had the games, uh, their boxes in these little plastic cases on the wall. And they had these little pull tags that you would pull out to take up to the checkout counter. I think that was Toys R Us that did that. I'm pretty sure it was. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling. I remember seeing this when I was going through the video game aisle, which I pretty much lived in. So I went and uh, picked it up with my allowance money. I actually had to save up for... Oh, geez, probably about a month or so to save enough money to buy this game. When I first got it home, of course, my brother was with me. We fired this thing up, and uh, wow, uh, consider it was on the 2600. They did a really good job porting this game over to the 2600. We had a lot of fun with it. Now, the graphics are very, very simplified, but the elements of the, of the arcade game are there. Uh, you know, I like the shield animation on the arcade game. Plus, you know, they did a pretty good job on the 2600 as well. And it's pretty challenging. Uh, well, especially for me. I, you know, I'm a simple willy. But overall, it's a, it's a really fun game. A really fun game to play. I still enjoy it to this day. It's one of my favorite arcade ports on the 2600. Well, let's see what came with the box. Now, I like the artwork. I always liked the artwork on the Atari boxes. Even though it's a silver label box, I love the evading Phoenix people here. Awesome. On the back of the box, you know, shows a little shot of the gameplay. It looks a lot like the Phoenix Arcade game. And a little description here. What's it say? The Phoenix, the fabulous mythological bird and ancient symbol of reincarnation, has mutated into an evil bird of prey. Alien beings employ flocks of these immortal warhawks to protect their spaceship as they drain off Earth's energy resources. Your mission? Kill the birds! Safeguard our homeland from energy thieves. Awesome. All right. This appears to be a sealed copy of the game. It looks like it's a factory seal. I mean, it's got the little ridge right down through the center. I don't know, because, you know, a lot of times... Game stores where we where we seal these things, so I don't know if this is an original seal or not, but it looks like it's an original seal. So nevertheless, let's cut this baby open with Z knife. <laughs> All right, let's be real careful here. Yeah, I don't think it's an original seal. You can see a little tear in the box right there. So I think this was a video game store that resealed this. Eh, we'll open it up anyway. Nice and careful. Oh, don't cut the box, you dummy. There we go. Ah, ah. Rip off the packaging. So inside the box, we have, of course, the Phoenix game cartridge with that great artwork on the front. Cool. And we have the instruction manual. What's this in there? Nothing else. See, uh, see, I was supposed to have a comic book, so that tells me it wasn't an original factory sealed Phoenix. 
But here's the instruction manual. Pretty nice. Still a full color manual, which I love the full color manuals, especially for the artwork. I would love to have a big poster of this artwork to hang on the wall. It is so awesome. Talks about the gameplay. Using the controllers. The different game screens. And of course the ever so ever helpful hints. Gotta have it. Well here we go. Overcome the temptation to fire away the first time the small birds appear. Instead, take a few moments to study their patterns. Observe what happens when you are positioned directly beneath the birds, and then when you're not. Study the attack patterns of the lower birds. Learn how to move your laser cannon between the bombs without getting blown apart. It's a very good helpful hint. Don't get killed. Oh, check it out. We got some high scores back here. So back in March 13th, 1983, it has 16,220. Then on the 14th, 18,800. Then on the 19th, 24,270, there's no more scores. So I wonder if they just got bored with it. That's kind of cool. I, like, I love finding these old high scores in these back of these, these instruction manuals. That is so cool. Oh, cool. Phoenix Fire Rising. Oh, we've got a little story here. I gotta read the story. In ancient times, legend says there was a bird of great beauty about the size of an eagle. It had brilliant scarlet and gold feathers a melodious song that was only one of its kind in the entire world. The, this fabulous creature lived in Arabia and had a lifespan over 500 years. At the end of its life, the phoenix built a nest of frankincense, myrrh, and other aromatic spices. After setting fire to the nest by rapidly beating its wings, this beautiful bird settled down to die amidst the flames. From the ashes of that fire, miraculously rose a young, revitalized phoenix. This new bird then took the remains of his parents to the Temple of the Sun at Halopopus in Egypt and sacrificed them on the high altar. The long life of the phoenix and the dramatic rebirth from its own ashes has made this legendary bird a symbol of immortality and spiritual rebirth in many cultures. The Egyptians saw the myth as a symbol of love life cycle of the sun, which dies every day at sunset and is reborn every morning at dawn. Most others interpret the legend as a general symbol of regeneration of life after death. However, something awful has happened to tarnish this long-standing image of the phoenix. Due to the effects of radioactive fallouts on its nest, the phoenix has unfortunately mutated into a bird of prey. Now, several birds rise from the ashes, but these are not like the beautiful, friendly bird of old. These birds are mean. Their cries are shrill. They have developed a tough, metallic-like skin that makes them almost indestructible. And they have turned their backs on the human race to offer their services to alien beings determined to drain away Earth's energy resources. Your mission. Eliminate these seemingly immortal war birds, destroy the alien spaceship, and safeguard our planet from ravaging energy thieves. I love how they have these backstories to these games. They are so cool. So awesome. Cool. So that was Phoenix. Some great memories from the arcade game and on the 2600. Thanks for watching. Safeguard our home world, homeland, and energy trip the what 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 what? Oh safe safe <laughs>